Entering grades for classes will vary slightly depending on how you've configured reports, and primary will look a bit different to high school. These steps here should be fairly common across most situations. Notice that I'm in the Academic Reports module with the correct reporting period selected. In this video, I'm using a high school example. To enter grades, select a class. You'll land on the course results page. There are three options for entering data, and it's worth considering each of them. For this example, we'll consider outcomes. Let's start with the quickest way to enter data. In these two columns here, it's clear which outcomes you're entering data for. If I choose this example, Personal Learning Profile Attitudes, it's less obvious. But hovering over each one shows a hover box indicating which attitudes I'm reporting on. I'll go back to Outcomes. Now click on any of the column headers. Let's try Column 1. Using the arrow above each grade, you can fill down for each column, and then adjust grades for each student as necessary. Click Save when you're done. You'll need to repeat this for the next outcome. The second option is to consider each category by student. We'll stick with the example of outcomes. Enter the result in each box to the right of the student. You can also clear or change results if needed, like if you make a mistake. The third option is to enter all results on a student-by-student -student basis. Click on a student's name, and you'll see that all course results, outcomes, attitudes to learning, and comments can be added for that student. To enter data for the next student, use the arrows on the right, or simply click the next student from the list.